I'll be snack. Whoa. All right, what's going on? As you can tell, I'm still uh, suffering through winter time here. Uh, but before we jump into this older video, I um, just want to take a second to announce uh, I've ended a partnership with Okuma Fishing. I'm pretty stoked. Um, so basically, I'm going to be using their products pretty much all season. And I actually got my first shipment in, I think, yesterday. So I just want to do a really, really quick unboxing. We're not going to dive too much into it because I'm still waiting on a lot of stuff. But I uh, just wanted to quickly make that announcement and uh, kind of detail what to expect this upcoming season. I am pretty pumped. All right, time to open this bad boy up. Shing. Ho ho. Holy mackerel. All righty then. All right, as you can see, we got a pretty decent first haul here. Um, I did get a couple odds and ends of my uh, tackle coming in. Like I got this 8,000 reel. I think this is the Avenger. So this is gonna be a chunk and reel for the most part, just cause it's an 8,000 thing's freaking massive. I uh, got one freshwater setup, cause why not? And a bunch of different lures. Tried to get a little bit of everything. Like these are called scrum poppers that Okuma sells. Really excited to try these out. They're kind of like a talking popper, just a little more compact. So I'm sure I'm gonna absolutely bomb those out from the shore. A lot of like shallow diving slash floating stick baits that will be good for blitz fishing and they come with single hooks which is awesome. I also got a lot of these flutter jigs which would be perfect for like jigging for sea bass and stuff like that. Some of these mad eels which are going to be awesome for targeting striped bass. Obviously some Okuma swag. A lot of Okuma swag. These are cool too. These um... I think they're called Canadian pitch jigs. Like again, just be jigging that in the bottom for sea bass and whatever will bite. Looks like it's gonna have some great movement. Um, so I don't wanna dive too, too into this because I'm gonna be field testing all of this and filming it and like getting underwater footage, seeing how all this stuff works. But I just kinda wanted to announce the partnership and encourage you guys to check out Okuma and their affiliates of Fish Lab, which does all the lures, and Soft Steel, which is all their braid, mono, floral leaders, etc. And like I said, I'll dive way more into this in a separate video. Pretty stoked, man. Go check them out. So the thing that's cool about this outing is that it almost didn't even happen. Uh, I think this was mid-November and it was pretty cold out and the spot I was from the shore watching these birds work was a very difficult spot to launch my kayak. It probably took me almost half an hour to wheel it down to the shoreline just to launch. Like it was a very precarious and rocky area and it sucked, not gonna lie, the launch sucked. It was cold, it was kind of windy, so I was trying to talk myself out of it, but eventually I was like, dude, just go out there and fish. And I'm really glad I did because it's turned into a pretty solid day. This is mayhem. Shocked I haven't hooked up to anything. There's gotta be something in here, right? Oh, they're blowing up behind me. Oh, there they are. I see them boiling. I just saw a fish boil. Oh, I think those are tuna, guys. I think those are albies. I saw a big flash of silver. There we go. Hooked up. To something. Now, but he definitely does not know his hooks. I think it's a bass. Let's see what we got here, ladies and gentlemen. That is a striper, I believe. Yep, striped bass. All right, so I know they're mixed in here. First fish, the schoolie. Let's hope they're bigger. I've seen fish, but it seems to be like more seagulls and bait than fish. Weird. Really weird. Oh! Oh, okay, take that back. There were just fish falling into the kayak. 
Those look like stripers. Hey, 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 hey! Not for you. There we go. So there are fish in here. I think this is another schoolie, it feels like. I saw him swimming up to the kayak on my last cast. There's like three schoolie bass chasing this SP minnow. It doesn't feel crazy big, to be honest. Oh, let's go over there. Yeah, a little schoolie. This is what I was worried about. This might just be a schoolie bass blitz. Yeah, when these fish are in blitz mode, they get all fired up. Another little schoolie, man. I was hoping for albies or bigger bass in here, but right now it's just looking like schoolies. Oh, yep, here we go. Finally, I got a shot at them. That is a big school of striped bass. Holy crap. That is a big school of striped bass. I can see him clearly feeding in on top of the water. Whoops. Might be tough to catch one they're on this much bait, dude. That was cool right there. I didn't really see anything of size, but that was really cool. The water's really clean. I was just seeing stripers feed like clearly. Oh, one just blew up on. There we go. That was sick. This is awesome, dude. Oh man, they are splashing all around me right now. Oh, I got a nice knot, sick. Holy crap. This might be a better striper. Hey, bud. Oh, that was perfect. I hooked himself. Check this out. <laughs> Right behind me. There we go. Oh, lost him. Driver's a little too loose. Holy crap, dude. Face forward on this one. <laughs> this is insanity. That is a good old fashioned striper blitz. Man, he's swimming right to the kayak. Now he knows he's hooked. <laughs> now this is the fall run right here. That's for sure. It's exploding all around me. It's a better fish. Almost a keeper. Upper size schoolie. Holy moly. Not bad. See ya. This is awesome. I could probably catch him. Yeah, they're loving the Albi snack. Oh, that guy swam fast. Fast little striper. Another one, getting close to keeper size, not quite there. Yeah, I'd say that's a striper blitz.
Holy mackerel. This is nutty. This is really cool, man. Oh, sorry, seagull. Oh. I'm almost having more fun filming than I am fishing. Like, this is just an awesome spectacle to behold. The water's really clean, so I'm like, I'm sure the camera's picking it up too. I can see these fish like breaching out of the water. I've caught like, I don't know, five. I could probably catch a lot more, but I'm not getting them every cast, to be honest. They're, uh, they're on so much bait, they're a little picky. It seems like the, uh, there we go, there's one. The Albi snack. Whoa. Interesting. Interesting development here. This feels like a better fish. A little heavier, unless I like hooked them in the side or something, just cause they're so thick, that's a possibility. But this guy feels like he's a little heavier. Yeah, it kind of feels like I foul hooked him to be honest. This is a weird fight. This is kind of like dead weight, not like a lot of head shakes. I think I foul hooked this fish. <sighs> Taking a long time to get him up, man. Get over here, bud. I still haven't even seen him yet. I don't know, man. This might just be a good fish. Oh, he's freaking heavy, dude. Can't get, get him in. He's going left and right. Uh, get off that. No, 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 no. There he is. Yeah, as I suspected, foul hooked him, but that's a keeper fish. Definitely. Oh. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. That's not a bad striper that just came out of this. I hooked him in the gill plate, but he's barely bleeding, so I think he's good to go. This is definitely a keeper. This is probably, uh, I don't know. I got the line wrapped on him. It's probably, I don't know, 29 inches, 30 inches. Yeah, let this guy go. Give him a little revive. So I know there's keepers in the mix. That's good. And away he goes.